Uh, what a beautiful day. My name is Chad Emerson. I'm the managing director of business operations for Huntsville City Football Club. Welcome to Wicks Family Field. Uh, we're super excited for our announcement today. Uh, a lot of you may have been here for incredible soccer matches, which we play all throughout the year, but we also operate the stadium for the rest of the year. And one of our first uh, non-soccer matches that we're really excited to debut here at Wicks Family Field, Field excuse me, is the Tennessee Valley Auto Fest. And this is going to be one of the most exciting things. You'll see this place filled up with cars, with collectors, and it's for all ages, so you'll see bounce houses. This is really going to be a really special edition this October. So to talk a little bit about the actual car show aspect of it, we're really excited. We're partnering with Ed Fossell. Ed is uh, one of the leading experts in the nation on these car shows, and he's here in Huntsville today to talk about the Tennessee Valley Auto Fest. Ed, come on up. Thanks, Chad. Hey, everybody, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Um, we are tremendously excited to announce the inaugural Tennessee Valley Auto Fest. Um, this is something that will be family friendly, car enthusiasts, there's gonna be something for everyone. My name is Ed Forcell. Uh, I'll be the event coordinator for this event and I'll be doing my small part to help these fine folks put on a great show October 18th and 19th here at Wicks Family Field. Um, we're about five months out from the show. So as you guys know, there's a lot of fluidity here. There's a lot of moving pieces. Uh, but what I'd like to discuss is I'm going to talk about uh, run of show, uh, some of our specialty vehicles that are already locked into the show, and then we'll talk celebrities. Um, so first and foremost, it's uh, a run of show. So Friday, we will open the gates for spectators just about noon. Uh, we'll run through the evening. And spectators, car show attendees, uh, will have the opportunity. Uh, we'll be doing a 45-minute uh, concert on stage inside with the Nashville recording artist. And then post-show, we'll have a fireworks display. So that'll wrap up Friday. And then Saturday, uh, we'll open the gates uh, about 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. Uh, we'll have our car show area for all the individuals who want to come out and show their vehicles. Inside on the stadium floor, we'll have our specialty high-end vehicles, uh, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then we'll have the stage on the uh, other end of the stadium. That's where Saturday afternoon we'll do our trophy presentation. Some of our high-end vehicles that are locked in already, uh, the name Chip Foos is renowned in the automotive industry. Uh, we'll have Chip Foos' 1965 uh, Imposter. This car won the most prestigious car award in the country. It won the Riddler Award in 2015. The vehicle's valued somewhere around $3 million. Uh, we will have a screen used, any John Wick fans out there, uh, we'll have a screen used John Wick Mustang from the second installment. Uh, we're going to have plenty of grade eight cars, which is a uh, high-end distribution of cars through our Detroit Autorama. Uh, a grade eight Prohibition is a 36 Pontiac. It's valued at just over $1 million. And for those of you who uh, like to turn left and right, uh, we'll have Poncho Carter's IndyCar, the actual car that Poncho drove in the 1990 Indy 500. For those of you who don't like to turn corners and like to crush stuff, uh, we will have a full-blown monster truck called Full Bore. Uh, Ed Eckert has toured with uh, the Monster Jam show for many, many years. Uh, he will be on, tr on property with Full Bore 2.0 uh, for, for the kids and for display. Um, it's his latest creation, and you guys can look it up. Uh, it stands well over 10 feet tall. Uh, it should be quite an attraction for us. Uh, celebrity wise, celebrity wise, our special guest. So on Saturday, we'll do our trophy presentation for the vehicles that are out here. Uh, Steve Mank. Uh, Steve Mank was the host of Muscle Car Television. Uh, he has judged many, many, many shows. He will be on property and he'll do our judging for us. Uh, we are very pleased to announce David Ankin. David Ankin from the show Toymakers will be here. Uh, he will have one of his very special vehicles on display. He'll also be on stage uh, during Saturday's presentation. He'll be kind of like our MC. And then to top it all off, uh, we will have John Schneider. 
uh, Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazard will be here both Friday and Saturday. Uh, he'll be signing autographs, uh, taking pictures, and meeting all his fans. Uh, so we've got a well-rounded show so far. There's more pieces coming that we'll distribute through social media. But so far, we're going to have something for everyone. If you like Indy cars, monster trucks, NASCARs, if you like show cars, imports, we're going to have it all. Uh, so definitely get out here for that show. It is going to turn out to be a big one. And this, hopefully this inaugural, this will be the first of many. So I'm good to go. All right, Thank you, sir. All right, what a great lineup. That's, and that's just the start. Uh, one of the really cool things about our facility here is the partnership with the Wicks family. And uh, when we approached them early on, uh, they really did something special by lending their family's naming right and the foundation's right to the stadium. But at the time, I didn't even know until I went to his house one day that Mike Wicks and Chandler are both car aficionados. So how much sense does it make to have at Wicks Family Field one of the best car shows in the southeastern U.S.? So Mike and Chandler, come on up and talk about these beautiful vehicles we have here. Thank you, Chad. My name is Mike Wicks, my son Chandler. Uh, we could not be more excited about the Tennessee Valley Auto Fest. Um, we both are, have been car enthusiasts our entire lives. We've uh, built cars, restored cars. Uh, we're Formula One, NASCAR fans. We even do a little driving. He, he does some racing. I try to keep up with him. Uh, here, you want to talk about your pink Porsche? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're really excited about the show. Uh, we've got a couple of cool, really cool cars here. Uh, I think one of my favorite things about car shows is just the fellowship uh, with everybody and with fellow car enthusiasts, uh, people that maybe this is their first time. Uh, but that's one of my favorite things about the car community is just the fellowship that it creates. Very good. I tell you, both of us are engineers to the core, and so the technical aspects of cars, and then just the uh, enthusiasm uh, surrounding um, anything that goes fast. Uh, and so we just love it. I tell you, this community has been so good to the Wicks family, and we're honored uh, and excited to be able to help host this event. And look forward to seeing everyone. Chad. Thanks. I like your uh, jersey there, Chandler. It's a sharp one. <laughs> uh, last but not least is uh, Jennifer Moore, the CEO of the Huntsville Madison County Convention and Visitors Bureau. We wanted to invite Jennifer over here because we believe that this will be a great event for locals, but we're going to draw people from throughout the southeast and probably even further away. So it's going to be a great place to gather in October. Jennifer, come on up. Good morning. I'm Jennifer Moore, President and CEO of Huntsville Madison County Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's exciting to be here for the announcement of the Tennessee Valley Auto Fest, which will be held at Wicks Family Field in Joe Davis Stadium on October 18th and 19th. We're fortunate to have facilities that can be used for a wide variety of events and activities. In addition to the Huntsville City Football Club matches and high school football games that are held here, Events like the Auto Fest are important to the quality of life of our area residents, and they benefit our community. With over 300 cars expected, it's sure to attract car enthusiasts from near and far, contributing to our local economy and making lasting memories here in the Rocket City. Having partnered